Federal officials are showing off some surprising dangers hiding in carry-on baggage. The TSA is on track to set a record for the number of guns that it has confiscated across the United States this past year. Chris Van Cleve is in Washington with the challenges of uncovering banned items. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Most of us know you can only bring small liquids through an airport checkpoint, and many of us still have to take our shoes off. But you'll be surprised to see some of the things people thought they could bring past security. It took just two days to fill this table full of prohibited items passengers tried to bring through TSA checkpoints at Dulles Airport outside Washington, D.C. Items like stun guns, knives, cleavers, ninja throwing stars, replica guns, and nunchucks. It's just baffling. I mean, it seems like this is clearly could be a weapon. It, it is baffling. Sure, how you doing? Scott Johnson is the federal security director at Dulles. I'll ask a passenger direct to the face, do you have anything prohibitive in the bag? No. We open up the bag, they'll have a knife, they'll have a fake gun, they'll have a nunchuck in there. And I just have to laugh at him because it's do you think you can bring this on? Women's purses with handles like these have been stacking up recently. The clasp resembles brass knuckles, which means it won't fly as a carry-on. Neither will a fake hand grenade. Dulles Airport alone fills up a 55-gallon drum like this daily with prohibited items. Some of the biggest head scratchers end up on the TSA's Instagram feed. With more than 336,000 followers, it's an attempt to get the word out about what not to bring. The most serious, of course, firearms. Through August, officers stopped nearly 1,900 nationwide, 18 at Dulles alone. We actually caught a 357 uh, Magnum out here at the checkpoint. Uh, yesterday, we caught 63 rounds of ammunition in the bag. But despite those successes, there remains concern about what's not being caught after details of an inspector general report leaked you go back and check it? that officers at TSA checkpoints failed 67 of 70 tests, allowing undercover agents to repeatedly bring potential weapons through checkpoints. Douglas Kidd is with the National Association of Airline Passengers, a citizen group critical of the TSA. What I think their biggest failure is not looking at the whole picture of airport security, because if anything's going to be a real danger to us, it's not going to come through the checkpoint, it's going to come around the checkpoint. Bringing a firearm or concealing a weapon like a knife and luggage can prompt criminal charges and significant fines. One other item left at checkpoints that really adds up. Last year, nearly $700,000 in loose change was left at airports. And Gail, the TSA gets to keep that to spend on security. Okay, well, I would say that's money well spent after that report. What do you say, Charlie, when you when someone forgets their cleaver? <laughs> I thought I left it in the kitchen. <laughs> yes, and uh -huh. what were you going to do with that yes, cleaver? Yes, what were you going to do? <laughs> Thank you, Chris.